It's important to point out that we're not policing the internet for harmful material, that we actually rely on citizens to collect evidence to report to the platform first, and then report to us if serious, uh, seriously harmful content isn't taken down. So we were really set up as a safety net when when some of this falls through the cracks. We're not seeking to become the content moderators ourselves. You know, we believe that the platforms build the digital roads. They also need to erect the digital guardrails and the safety guardrails and be, you know, applying the virtual seatbelts. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to my elders, the Apostles of Great Millstone, the men that taught me the truth of the Bible through the Holy Spirit. And you have a bash mal washai bahasham rakai kudash baka thumb to the hundred and forty four thousand servants of Yahweh bash mal washai and the remaining elect of the nation of Israel. Now, Lord willing, this is going to be a very brief, quick heads up, a spiritual forecast concerning why this came across here in this article. And this article, for the most part, is pretty much going into uh, Bible prophecy concerning the famine of the word, pursuant to Amos eight verse eleven. And what we're looking at is an article from www.truthunmuted.org. And as you can see here in the headline, it says, World Economic Forum announces creation of Orwellian Global Coalition for Digital Safety. Now, those of you out there that are watching our videos, that are subscribed to our pages over here at Great Millstone, beginning with the apostles on down, you should be well aware of this organization, the World Economic Forum, in which this is pretty much Esau's think tank. All right, this is the wicked elite's think tank. And when I say the wicked elite, I'm referring to families such as the Rothschilds, the Oppenheimers, the DuPonts, the Gettys, the Rockefellers, so on and so forth. Okay, Esau's shadow government, right, in which they control this world as a shadow government and all these different prime ministers and presidents around the world, they're their puppets, okay? And they do the bidding of the wicked elite. But anyway, like I said, the World Economic Forum, this is the think tank for the wicked elite of Esau, Edom. And right now, they want to bring about their new world order. They want to establish their new world order in which they're branding as the fourth industrial revolution, as the Great Reset. And at the helm of this great reset, at the helm of this fourth industrial revolution, their goal is to enslave, control, and be a god over the masses of people by way of an implantable microchip. And right now, there's too much information coming out concerning that, especially the information that's coming from the brothers, right? The servants, the prophets of Yahweh Bashmah and Shai, because we're pretty much exposing Esau and his plans okay we're exposing esau not only his plans but we're exposing esau for being the wicked okay for being the man of sin which that within itself is according to bible prophecy too what's that second thessalonians 2 verse 3 and right now our lord yahweh bashmah is uh, searching esau out as a matter of fact let's start there i don't want to make this lesson too long because my phone as of late has been messing up. So I'm just gonna go through this quick. But anyway, this is the book of Obadiah, which the book of Obadiah is really only one chapter long, dedicated to the demise, the downfall of Esau, Edom. Esau, Edom being the so-called white man, all right? You so-called Caucasian people. You're the Edomites according to the Bible, the wicked according to the Bible. But anyway, this is Obadiah uh, verse six. It says, how? Are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? And right now, our Lord, Yahweh Bashmah Shai, who the world in their ignorance referred to as God and Jesus Christ. Well, Yahweh Bashmah Shai is searching Esau out right now as we speak. He's making an inquisition of these Edomites. First and foremost, by way of his servants, the prophets, okay, through the Holy Spirit. And we're using this internet the World Wide Web as a tool to propagate our message, right? To expose Esau for being the wicked of the Bible, for being the man of sin. Again, uh, you can refer to Second Thessalonians 2 verse 3, 
You can link that up with uh, Job chapter 9, verse 24, Malachi 1, verse 4, uh, Isaiah 26, verse 10. All those scriptures are going into the wicked. But anyway, like I said, all this information that's coming out on Esau, Edom and his agenda is pretty much overwhelming these Edomites. Okay, it's overwhelming them. They're being exposed. And right now, um, as we're going to read here, it says World Economic Forum announces creation of Orwellian Global Coalition for Digital Safety. Okay, and pretty much Esau is looking to wipe out so-called misinformation. Okay, that's what he's looking to do. So, like I said, this is all going to lead to uh, the vision that Amos saw concerning the famine of the word, which is really going to be detrimental one to you Israelites, right? You so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. Because as it says in Isaiah 33, verse 6, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. And we're coming into a time where all hell is going to break loose in the society and you're going to need the wisdom, the knowledge and the understanding of these scriptures to keep you stable in the times ahead, right? Because we're coming into the time of Jacob's trouble, Jeremiah 30, verse 7, Daniel 12, verse 1, Second Ezra 15, Second Ezra 16, where it speaks about there being uh, plagues, pestilences. It speaks about there being uh, civil unrest, racial tension, a culling of the people, martial law, concentration camps, and ultimately, you know, the, the nuclear destruction. So during this time, which is going to be a time like never before, you're going to need the wisdom, knowledge and understanding and the fear and the name of Yahab Bashmael Shai to navigate you to salvation. And that's what's being taught right now through the men of the Lord, right? Through the servants of Yahab Bashmael Shai. Again, the apostles, the elders and the men of Great Millstone. And like-minded, righteous Israelite men that share our same spirit, okay? The spirit of prophecy. But anyway, it says down here, the World Economic Forum announced June 29th, it will initiate a new public-private partnership with big tech and governments around the world to identify and uproot all opinions from the internet that it considers harmful. And you best believe that us brothers, our videos, our channels, we're at the forefront of, you know, Esau wanting to uproot our opinions concerning his agenda, concerning his World Economic Forum, concerning the fourth industrial revolution. The WEF, which is an acronym for the World Economic Forum, is one of those elitist organizations that wields enormous influence over the elected leaders of Western nations. And that's where you get scriptures like Job chapter 9, verse 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Because the wicked elite of Esau, Edom, they control this world by way of their puppet leaders. Okay, it says, influence over the elected leaders of Western nations, but which almost nobody in the general population has heard of because Esau operates in secrecy. Okay, and this is where we, right, the potential men of the Lord, the servants of prophets of Yahweh, Bashmael, Shai, beginning with the apostles of Great Millstone, of course, this is where we come into the picture, exposing Esau, right, exposing these wicked elite, exposing their agenda. And that's exactly what our Lord, Yahweh, Bashmael, Shai, said he was going to do um, through the mouth of Jeremiah which I'm not going to go there right now, but if you go to Jeremiah 49 and verse 10, roughly paraphrasing, our Lord said, I have made Esau bare. I have uncovered his secret places and he shall not be able to hide himself. So that's exactly what our Lord is doing right now. Like I said, through the mouth of his prophets, the Lord is exposing Esau, revealing Esau, revealing the, the wicked elite of Esau, right? Exposing their Illuminati, their so-called secret societies, the Lord is doing that through his men and through the use, the tool that we know is the internet. That's how everything is coming out and being propagated throughout the whole wide world. Okay, making it known. It says its members are internationalists, corporate honchos and technocrats who meet once a year in Davos with the stated goal of working to shape global, regional and industry agendas. It made a big splash last year with its highly tutored Great Reset, which again, that's Esau's brand name for his New World Order, 
all right, that novus ordo sacrorum that you read about on the US $1 bill, okay, which novus ordo sacrorum is Latin for New World Order. It says, which promises to use the, you know what, as an opportunity to crash the world's dollar-based capitalist economic system, right? And that's where you're going to get your cashless society from because a part of Esau's agenda, a part of his new world order is to bring about a total digital system, okay? Where everything, you know, is done digitally, so to speak, all right? By way of that implantable microchip, the mark of the beast. It says, and build back better under a more socialist and globally integrated system that mirrors the United Nations agenda, 2030 goals for sustainable development, okay? And here you have the main guy, right? The leader, the leader of the pack, of the wolf pack, of this wicked pack. It says, the pandemic represents a rare but narrow window of opportunity to reflect, reimagine, and reset our world, All right? And this is a quote from Klaus Schwab. So, um, all right, let's read down here. It says, Schwab's latest venture is the so-called Global Coalition for Digital Safety that consists of execs from big tech, and your big tech will be your uh, Facebook, your YouTube, for sure, uh, Google, Instagram, okay? It says, and government officials with the goal of creating a global framework for regulating speech on the internet, wiping it of so-called harmful content. And there you have it, okay? Which, like I said, this is all going to lead to what we read about here in the book of Amos, chapter 8. And verse 11, where it says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, the Lord whose name is Yahweh in the ancient Hebrew. That's the heavenly father, right? The God of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and the Israelites. And his son's name is Yahweh Shai in the ancient Hebrew. So it says again, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashmael Shai, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord, Yahweh Bashmael Shai. And how do you hear the words of the Lord, as I always bring out? by way of his servants, the prophets, i.e. the apostles, the elders, and the men of great millstone. Okay, because we're the mouthpiece of Yahweh Barshan al We speak on his behalf, and we've been sent on the Lord's behalf. To prove that, uh, let's get a few scriptures. Uh, this is Hosea, chapter 12, and verse 10. It says, I have also spoken by the prophets, and I have multiplied visions and used similitudes by the ministry, which is the, the service of the prophets. Okay, so that's one scripture. Let's get another one from Luke chapter 1. And what's that? Verse 17. Again, this is just to prove to you that we're the mouthpiece of our Lord, Yahweh Bashmael Shai. Um, let's read up a bit. Let's read from verse 68. This is Luke 1, verse 68. It says, Blessed be the Lord, Yahweh Bashmael Shai, the power or the God of Israel, Israel being our so called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, for he have visited and redeemed his people, which our Lord, Yahweh Shai, he visited us over 2,000 years ago during the ancient Roman Empire in the flesh when he gave himself up as a sacrifice for our nation, the nation of Israel. Right, the ultimate sacrifice, and that's when he redeemed our people as a nation, and he's going to revisit us once again in the flesh, but not as a man, pursuant to what's that Isaiah 47 and verse 3. He's going to come back as an angelic power with a host of angels to redeem the elect of Israel. Okay, that's going to be delivered upon his return, and what people out there call UFOs or so called UFOs which the Bible refers to as chariots. That's Matthew 24, verse 31. Yeah. Verse 69, it says, And have raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. The horn represents power. That horn being our Lord, again, Yahweh Shai. And here's the point, verse 70. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, 
which have been since the world began and they're back here today through the process of reincarnation. First Corinthians, what's that? 14 verse 32, the spirit of the prophet is subject unto the prophets. So the prophets are back here speaking on the behalf of Yahweh Bashem and Shai, trying to warn our people, you know, of things that's going to take place in the very near future concerning Bible prophecy. And, you know, what we're doing is surely going to come to an end because as we're reading here, let's read it again. Schwab's latest venture is the so-called Global Coalition for Digital Safety that consists of execs from big tech, i.e. your YouTube, your Instagram, your Facebook, so on and so forth, and government officials with the goal of creating a global framework for regulating speech on the internet, wiping it of so-called harmful content. Okay, which is going to be very detrimental to you Israelites because as I brought out in Isaiah 33 verse 6, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. So, you know, all these videos that you're seeing on the internet coming from the true men of the Lord, the apostles, the elders, and the men of great millstone, and like-minded righteous Israelite men that share our same testimony, that share our same report, this is going to come to an end real soon. And they're going to be lacking. You're going to be lacking in the wisdom, the knowledge and understanding of Yahweh Bashma al Shai. Because you didn't take heed in the, in the time where he was given grace to take heed, right, and take note, so to speak, you know, concerning Bible prophecy and concerning the warning that's coming from our Lord, Yahweh Bashma al Shai. And that's why it says when you go to Isaiah 55, verse 6, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Because right now you can find the Lord, you can find his wisdom, his knowledge, his understanding. By way of his servants, the prophets. Shalom.